Hey, <laughs> it's dead already. Well, that is an impressive, an impressive feat, boys, that it's been five seconds in the stream and the camera has already died. But man, look at that boy staring into the, that camera. So God damn, that boy, what is that boy thinking about? Is that boy thinking about some creamy macaroni and cheese? Because that, that's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of creamy macaroni and cheese, boys. Uh, hey, look, I'm alive. Wow. Well, at least it started quicker. Uh, though it wasn't it wasn't as dark as before. Oh, well, it's dark. This is my life now. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Howdy ho. Welcome to the impromptu secret super duper hangout stream where my camera still looks like shit. Uh, but I got my, uh, my tree on. Kind of, it looks so sad. It's the saddest looking tree ever. Looks like it's anorexic. Hi, everybody. Oh, shit. Eight. Gotta do that every time you see an eight. Um. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, uh, Kinky Water Otter, Sleepy Pup, Josh the Cookie Hermit, Foxroll, Bobo, um, Midnight, Yeetus. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Doing good? Marley, how you doing, buddy? Hey! Nine months. Now someone had a child since I subbed. Also Murray's Chrysler. <laughs> That's the best way to think of it ever. <laughs> hey, Ryan. I've accidentally locked myself out of my account these past couple weeks. Oh, but no! I'm back now. Anyway, I'd tell you a joke about infinity, but it doesn't have an ending. Disney Affinity does. Um, well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Midnight. Thank you, Dirt Bird. Both appreciate both subs. Congratulations on nine months, Midnight. Congratulations on five months, Dirt Bird. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Bobo could have had like 17 kids that were born. I've never thought of it that way. That's... You ever have those moments where you just think a random thought and you're just, like, for some reason your brain finds it so profound? That's mine. <laughs> Little Timmy's been born. Anyways, hi. Hi, Calvins. I don't know if I said hi to you, but appreciate you. Rocking my good old, damn, my beard dark. Oh, I don't have ADD, guys. Um. Rocking some uh, Snickers coffee today. I needed some. I need some good old shit. Hello, Hobo Orion. Good to see you. Hi there, uh, Tannis Padilla. Apologies if I said your name wrong. Uh, hey Ryan, what is your what is the worst horror movie you've ever seen? Oh boy, that's hard. That's actually a legitimately hard question. Because I watch bad horror movies for fun. Um, and usually, it would have to be a mediocre. Because bad is good to me. Like a really bad horror movie, I sometimes enjoy more than a uh, a really good horror movie. I'm not a fan of the Saw movies. Let me just put it there. I'll put Saw movies. Because I can't really think of one. And I've watched a lot of shitty ones. We've watched a lot of shitty ones. Oh, hi, Michelle. Hey, loser. We should stream together soon. Hell yeah. That sounds awesome. I would love that. Michelle, do you remember? Now that you're here, I got it. Do you remember the name of that movie where it was like a terrible stepmother and she's like molesting a girl in a wheelchair and then she dies by taking a, 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 a fucking rake to the head? Do you, yeah, I watched that movie with you, but for life of me. I, every time I tell a story, I never remember the name of the movie. She's either going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? Or she's going to be like, oh, shit. She let me watch a lot of bad horror movies. A lot, a lot of bad ones. Michelle, do you remember the movie? I, I It was like a sm girl going to stepmom. And the stepmom's like this really scummy stepmom. She's got like step boys. And she's like molesting her sister who's like in a wheelchair or something. She was like crippled. I remember she was a wheelchair. Or she, I remember she was crippled. And then the movie ends with uh, her getting panicked, stepping on a rake and killing herself. And then the girl's like tied up and she dies too at the end. That's the end of the movie. That was like the worst movie we've ever seen. That was the worst. That was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. That's the worst piece 
of uh, 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 media I have ever witnessed. Hi, John. From the wave. From the wave. From the wave. <laughs> Thank you, Dark. Appreciate it. Another tier one sub. And congratulations. 12 months. You hit the year. John, how'd you look like an idiot? What'd you do, buddy? Lol, what? Don't remember this at all. Oh, no! My only hope. My only hope. Shell does not remember it. I will never find out what that movie is called. I need to rewatch that on stream. Just so you all can witness one of the worst movies. Oh, wait, no. I just said. <laughs> She'd be touching. Yeah. Never mind. It's not as good as Granny Beeple. God damn, Granny Beeple. What a fucking hero. God damn, I get so hyped up every time I even say Granny B-Ball. She fucking, she, I'll never forget that moment. Freaking creepy pedophile guy about to touch the little girl. What does grandma do? She kicks in the fuck door. Bah! Make some grammar titties. He grosses him out. Best scene of all time. Granny B-Ball for president. Sorry, I get so excited. I got, I got, I just, as you guys know, I get excited and I go into... Uh, <laughs> white ghost lines and moments in Granny Beeble. Hi, Laverly. Ryan, how late am I? Um, less than 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know how long that message was. I would say about eight minutes. You're not too late. It's A-OK, -okay, buddy. I just started. My favorite Christmas theme horror movie is called Jack Frost. Uh, just the snowman one, but uh, the one... That's just an old man mask they color blue. Dude, I remember those movies. Also, by the way, I have to remind me of Goosebumps because I have to. Uh, there's something I want to say. But first, hi, Alistair Thomas. I'm doing not. I'm doing all right. My older brother, sister in law, and my nephews and niece over for Christmas. They got here yesterday. Today, my brother and sister in law went out for a day out and are not coming home till tomorrow. Thanks, bro. I love looking after a six, four, and two-year-old. Oh, damn. They putting you to fucking work there, Bobo. They putting you to dang work. No, uh uh I also made you watch the movie Teeth. Oh, the Vagina Teeth movie? Yes, I do remember that one. I remember us watching the Vagina Teeth movie. Now I've seen worse horror movies. Trust me. Okay, what would you? Where would you put that? Uh, t what What is your worst one? Uh, because like like I said, it's very hard for me. Because if they're really bad, I really enjoy them because they're terrible. But they, it's gotta be that ground where they're trying to be good, but they fail so miserably. Those are the best. Those are the best ones to me. I laugh so hard at those. Uh, I was getting some snacks at the vending machine at work and didn't see someone coming in. I saw movement out of the corner of my eye and the lights were off and I jumped into the air with a big, oh shit. <laughs> he probably thought, he probably thought you were doing some criminal activity. By the way, Bobo, I've taken care of like two young people, not three. God bless you for doing the, the hard work. Oh, did you see my uh, dot? You dyed your hair rainbow? No, I didn't see Thank this God yet. We still have our old Wii and Mario Kart. Even if the four-year-old can't play to save his life, he's too young to understand that he is losing every game. <laughs> I, I remember. I remember those moments. I remember being that that so shit at video games. Uh, but, uh, hey, God bless him. I get it. I get it. But, um, Shark Exorcist? That sounds fantastically bad. Oh, good. Good job, Bobo. He took the shot. He took the shot. Someone did. I don't know. It says moderator. didn't even tell me. I like it when I get to <laughs> thank the person who took the shot. Hi, Sleepy. My worst horror movie I've seen is Vomit gore series oh no it's nothing but gut scat and a fuck ton of barfing oh that sounds abysmal that's that kind of literally shit humor that is like nobody nobody likes it it's not very funny or any of that but somebody's just like haha poop and vomit funny
Brian, the wheelchair movie, I think, is called uh, a Run, I think, called Run. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. Movie Run. <gasps> no, is it? Is this the fucking it? No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Is it? Oh! Oh! Did you? Did you fucking find it? I'm gonna be honest. I saw this picture and had a little panic attack because that's how I remember the girl in the wheelchair. Oh, no. Oh, no. You might have found it. <gasps> oh. I've got to do... I got to do some research on this afterwards. I might have to do some research on this. I can finally find the scene. If I can find the scene where she fucking gets a concussion and dies we're gonna all we're all watching it i don't care what anyone says anyways hey everybody i really appreciate you all being here for an impromptu stream 21 people that's way more than i anticipated so uh thanks everybody i really appreciate it Reminds me of a Japanese movie called Toilet Zombies. Like, the movie is full of shit and farts. I said, if you get some farts, give me a horror movie filled with farts. I'm in. I'm in. I'm that idiot. I'm that idiot. Whenever. <laughs> this is how I knew farts were dangerous for me. Somebody sent me the cake farts video as, like, a two girls, one cup gross video. I laughed the whole time. This girl sitting on a cake tooting the whole time. Every time she farted, I went, <laughs> I almost died. That was not good. That was not, you're not supposed to watch a horrific video. Well, it's not really horrific. I mean, let's be honest. Two girls, one cup, cake farts down here. Really not that terrible. Fucking laugh my ass off. She's just, that. that's it. That's the whole video. Oh my God, dude. Funny. My humor is broken as well. Yes, you're right, Sleepy. You're right. I thought you were saying yourself. My eyes are broken too. Three guys, one hammer. I only saw that one guy, one jar. That was the that was the one of choice. One guy, one jar worked the best for videos because you always shut it off right after you heard the pop. And it wasn't like the pop you could get used to. As long as you skip the blood in the glass part, you're A-OK. -okay. Guys, don't ever. I, you know what? I'm kind of glad that era of showing people things that are going to scar them is kind of over. I've just been told by Hype Train that you earned a leader badge. What that mean? I have no idea. Apparently, you're the leader of the uh, Twitch Master Race. I don't know. <laughs> and if there's anything I've learned is, uh, boy, people love it when you call something Master Race. Uh, the worst film I've saw was a self-autobiography about this woman and her friend who traveled around South Africa. Uh-oh. Nothing happened. There was no plot. It was so boring. Not even a good kind of bad. I thought it was going to be racist, but it wasn't racist at all. It was boring. See, that's the worst thing. Bad movies are boring. Like, actual bad movies. If it's boring, there's nothing to it. If it's bad, though... If it's legitimately a bad movie, it's, to me, redeemable. Because from a comedy standpoint, it can be considered, you know... It's like it went in the wrong genre. The new emo is a uh, pet and a fish? <laughs> oh, God, coffee almost killed me. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, now I gotta sound like the fish. That sound like the fish fucking dying over here. Nah, man. One man, one screwdriver was the worst. Oh, I've heard about that one. I remember the pain. Is that the Pain Olympics one? If it's the Pain Olympics. Dude, it makes me angry how stupid people are. Same with prolapse anuses. Every time I hear, and yeah, I've seen it, it just makes me go, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I've told you this before. You remember Chad. You remember Chad? 
You know old Chad that comes in, our good friend Chad, who always does great things? He sent me a video of a guy putting a bike down, and they're about to high-five a guy. And just before they high-five, don't even get the high-five, right into a prolapse anus. Guy's freaking is a air arm in there like that and i remember i was eating food but i was mad and my mad my mad my anger was way greater than the disgustingness of it so i remember this was i i sat there but i was not i was determined to do two things one eat all the food Two, watch the whole video. And I did it. I did it. I ate an entire bowl. I think it was ice cream, if I remember correctly, uh, while watching a man get a prolapse anus. Though, I will admit, once the anus part happened, it was more of a, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, what's happening now? What's going on? I'm very confused. And I sat there like a, I felt like I was in medical school, guys. I was like, hold on a second. What's going on here? This seems like this could end in death. And guess what, guys? It ends in death. Dude, I don't know if you know. Don't ever look it up. It's fucking gross. Weird. Never really made me want to throw up. Because it was like a weird, like, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, but it 100% ends in you going to the hospital and having surgery. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry, Sleepy. I'm not, I won't do any detail. I'm just saying, it's surgery. Like, Sleepy, you're going in the medical field. You might be repairing, getting the duct tape. Got to get the duct tape out for the prolapsed anus. <clears throat> mm, fixed it. <laughs> Actually, you just get your foot in there and go. <laughs> well, I've heard about that one, Calvin, yes. Not going to lie, kind of Miss Star of David Ryan form. I don't know if it's working. It's a very rainy day and it's about to turn into a disaster zone. But. No. Sorry, bud. The sun's not out. No star of David, Ryan. He doesn't exist. Well, hold on, actually. There you go. Uh -huh. There you go. Star of David, Ryan. Yeah, it's a rainy day. I might be losing power tonight, to be honest with you guys. I might be losing power. Oh, physical therapy, staying far away from the anus. Fair enough. Fair enough. What if he's like, but Sleepy, I need you to repair my anus. And then it's gonna, then you're going to have all the flashbacks of when I said anus. And you're just, you will, I, I feel like this guy, that would be the moment where Sleepy would, one, kill that guy little bit of this and then just straight gone next up plane ticket flies to america finds out where i live <laughs> me too and then after i'm dead she just she just disappears you know those memes where she just goes and disappears and it goes doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo. that's what's gonna happen i'm calling it right here <laughs> the lore of sleepy They'll say all they found was a rap that explained all the murders. <laughs> well, welcome, Traveling Gamer. It always ends in death. Yes. Don't spoil my plans, Ryan. My bad. Sorry. Really blew it. Anyways, yeah, guys, I really appreciate y'all being here for, like I said, an impromptu stream. As you guys probably figured, I'm not streaming on Saturday or Sunday because it's Christmas Eve and Christmas. And then I realized I won't be streaming next Saturday and Sunday because it's New Year's. No, no, it's uh, the day before New Year's Eve and the New Year's Eve. But my sister and uh, my two sisters are coming over Saturday and my brother's coming over Sunday. So I won't be streaming two weekends. So, instead, I'm just doing this. I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> Everything's gone to shit. Oh, dude. It's like the world is determined to destroy my self-esteem. Not self-esteem. Uh, is that self-esteem? 
when you're try working on something, but everything goes wrong, so you don't you just lose. You mean it's momentum. Christmas and first Christmas Day, Ryan? Don't be silly. <laughs> yeah, it'll be super Christmas. Fun fact: Jesus' birthday was like in May or March. Uh, they lied to you. They they uh, if I remember correctly, they got that because they found what the Star of David would be, and then they realized if they put they matched that sucker up, uh, his birthday would not be in Christmas, but. There you go. That's a fun fact. Jesus did not have snow. I'm sorry to say. Snow and Jesus didn't connect. I can promise you at no point did a little Jewish boy get snow on his little cheek. Not happening. Santa Claus failed us. Are we going to press B on Torchic? No, we're going to evolve him. Ryan doesn't work holidays, wants to be with his family. How strange. Well, Lavely, here's the thing. Most people could work holidays. Uh, you know how people get a promotion? Not a promotion, but extra money on the holidays? No, that was a bit for the fact that we celebrate Christmas on the 24th here in Denmark. Oh, really? Huh, that's bizarre. I didn't know that. So you celebrate on Christmas Eve. I think Japan does that, too. Um, But yeah, no, no one would show up, Laverly. <laughs> <laughs> no one would watch a video, and nobody would watch uh, a stream on Christmas Day. Um, same in Germany. Huh. So, I make no money. Nobody shows up. I just sit alone in a room like, hello? I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. That's it. That's a whole, that's a whole stream. Do you want to watch Hobo Ryan cry and shit and piss himself? Tune in on Christmas morning. Uh, I say that yet. What did I do last year? I streamed. I streamed at like midnight, like when Christmas happened. But nothing, nothing actually happened. Nothing happened on that stream. motivation opposed to self-esteem that's it thank you that's right yeah my motivation's dead <laughs> i have none left it's it's gone it's shriveled up and died i would show up right you'd be there john i thought you'd be with your your family or uh with uh, juliet's family we celebrate both days going over to steal food from my aunts one day and steal food from uh, my mom the next day. Yeah, usually I did that for a long time too, but, but now we, we split it up. New Year's Eve is technically second Christmas for me because when my family come over, we just celebrate Christmas. It's just so much easier. <laughs> Ryan, you must stream to find Santa at midnight. I'm going to be honest, that has a whole other connotation on this stream. That would imply I have to bust in and catch Midnight with Santa. That's right, Midnight. We're watching you. You're not touching Santa. You're not touching old Saint Nick. Uh, We mainly celebrate on Christmas Eve. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Her family does live far away. Not to me. I'm going to go celebrate with Juliet's family. If they give me free food and maybe like a, a $20 gift cards to, to Lowe's, I'm going. I don't know why Lowe's. I wouldn't even use it. But it's a thought that counts. I sneezed. <laughs> I just had the thought of me busting in. Just, boom. hello, I'm John's friend. Feed me food. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you to name your daughter Juliet? Do you even like the book? Do you, you even read the book? No. Nobody's read the book. I just thought it was a cool name. <laughs> oh, John, don't go home and tell Juliet. So I was on stream today, and Ryan made this great joke about breaking into your family's house and threatening them to get answers to find out why your name is Juliet. <laughs> it's, it's not even spelled the same. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> well, tell me how it goes. $25 dispensers? 
I hope it's the Spencer's mansion. <laughs> That's a Resident Evil joke. <laughs> So, on different note, I did find a webcam that I'm very, very, very interested in. Uh, but the problem is, the best one I could find is not in stock. So now I have to ask myself the question of what to do next. Do I either wait for the new webcam, buy a shitty webcam for, like, till I stream? I mean, technically this does the job, right? I don't think I should buy one. But I did find one. It is called... 6000 No. You'd be surprised. Expensive webcams are nowhere near as expensive as uh, DSLRs, which is the big cameras. Um, it's called the Elgato Facecam Pro. It looks fantastic. It's a 4K camera. Um... And it is way cheaper. It's way cheaper than all the other DSLRs. It's cheaper than my camera now, but it's better in all ways. Like, if I get this webcam, I probably am going to replace my main camera with it. That's how good looking it is. It surprised me watching the video. It looks looks pretty dang good. Um, so, yeah, that's the one I'm going to go for. And, uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, because you're you're paying for it. <laughs> All your subs for last month is going into it. Um, but yeah, no. Yeah, so webcams are interesting because, like, this one that I'm looking into is $300. And really, that's the highest it ever goes with cameras, webcams, which is surprising. Because, like, a low-end main camera, the lowest you're going to get is 400 so, yeah. Like, every other webcam I've ever gotten was under 100 I think the last one was 60 uh, I think I thought most I've ever paid was, like, 90 But, you know, I want something that looks good. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of fighting with my camera. <coughs> um, Ryan's 4K Porn Adventures. I'm not even reading the next part. But, uh, yeah, that's the plan. My Christmas tree fell over on Saturday, nearly hit the TV, had to cut a, branch, a bunch of branches off of it in order to balance the weight equally. Thank God. Would have been awful Christmas. Holy shit. The camera, I mean, the, uh, the tree tried to sabotage. He's like, you're going to cut me off, are you? <laughs> What a piece of shit. I'm sorry, Alistair. Glad nothing actually got broke, though. Does that mean there will be hobo on OnlyFans? No, there will not be hobo on OnlyFans. <coughs> we can only dream. So, here's the thing about the 4K, though. Uh, Twitch doesn't actually do 4K. Twitch actually only does uh, uh, 180. But, but the thing is, with 4K, that means if you zoom in closer, it will still look better. Like, if I zoomed in at any point. So, that's that's why you want to get 4K, so then if you ever had to zoom, it, it then is 1080. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, we will. We'll get a uh, official naked SpongeBob poster. Maybe I'll use my actual camera, my old camera for it. Listen, we had B cam, but that looks as good. But we got we will bring back B cam. One day B cam will be a full stream. But the bees are all dead, so no B cam. His only fans would be Hobo Pony for his rarity cameos. I hate you, John. Worst part is, I thought you were going to say hobo porny, like how I thought in my don't hug me. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, he didn't watch that for sure. So <laughs> then I realized there's a me fucking a horse joke. I don't want to do that. Hey, by the way, uh, I probably shouldn't tell. We'll, we'll have Chris tell his, his fun story about uh, roadside problems. 
Remind me to ask him that. Get a camera from the 1990s and stream from that. So, Midnight, funny fact about that, tactically did. My first camera was from the 90s. The one I, like, the first videos of Hobo Ryan, that one. The piss yellow Hobo Ryan arc. You guys, you remember the piss yellow Hobo Ryan? Those were the days, boys. Here we go. Let's let's go back in the archives and see piss yellow Ryan. If I can find it. Any chance you go. will do a multiplayer stream like Halo Custom Games or something? Yeah, I don't see why not. Especially with the custom games. Now now I'm excited with the mods, too. I want to see what they come up with. Look at this. This is Piss Yellow Ryan. Look at this. Look at the old Piss Yellow Ryan there. Look, I put it up Two here. Questions. One, will the bee can be with or without the depression <coughs> in your eyes? No Which promises. Are we reading Pyman's AI fanfic today? Yo, we'll never know. Who knows what I'm going to do? I'm a man on the edge. Maybe I will. <laughs> I don't. There's no plans here. Oh man, look at that. Look at this one. Look at it. Look at that. You know, that tint. Look, it looks like I peed on it. Oh, everything's so yellow tinted except Pikachu. Mwah, looking good, Pikachu. I don't even know where that Pikachu is anymore. What mangas are I reading? I still had my. I still I read. I had Dragon Ball Z for that long. God damn. All right. That was an old, old camera. Will the crisp chips box ever return? <laughs> this one's for you, Dark. Pikachu is fired. Chris Box is back, boys. Making a cameo. The Chris Box never actually left. I still had it. That's right. For for this long. Bye, John. For this long, I have not actually. I still have the box of random crisps. And now I can't stop saying crisps. Because once you say the word, you can't stop. Seeing old hobo, hold Ryan. Uh, I know. I now understand how you cultivate the healthy sheen for your hair. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Also about me, I don't look that much different, and that's six years ago. I really don't look. I don't know. I think the beard just hides my old age. <laughs> you, you'll never know. You can see it in my eyes a little bit. Ryan is immortal. It was. It turns out it's a beard. That's all you need. You got to get a big beard and you'll live forever. Shave your head to look different. I would look terrible. I would look terrible. Guys, I've showed you. Look how high my forehead is. Disgusting. I need those bangs. Otherwise, I look nasty. Look at your skin. Obviously, you're a vampire. And if I shave my head, I'll be a skinhead vampire. And that's a terrible combo. I mean, when I shave, I lose like 10 years. I... So, I've, I've always said if I was going... I probably would not cut my hair, but I would shave my beard all off. I am curious what I look like without a beard. Hairless Ryan is too cursed. It, it'd be pretty cursed. It'd be pretty cursed. Buy me some crisps. Listen, all that box is filled with sour cream and onion and a type of barbecue chip I don't like. So you can have them all midnight. You can have them all. So I've been thinking about what to do next because I like last night I was so fucking bummed I was big bummed big bum like I was living up to the hobo Ryan but now I'm a bum no longer a hobo so it's now bum Ryan from now on um 
I really don't know what to do. Like, I know at this point, everybody just wants to see uh, uh, Don't Hug Me. And not just that, I don't have... I, I pretty much put all my eggs in that basket for now. So I got nothing. I've got not a nut of nuts. I got eights. Eight. That's all I got left. That joke will still live on forever. Uh, so yeah, I have no fucking idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to be honest. Part of me is really tempted to quit doing videos and start streaming only for a little while. I'm really tempted to do it. See what it'd be like to actually try streaming like every other day. I have a feeling it'd be a bad idea. It'd either go well, or you guys are gonna get so sick of me, I'm gonna get like one view. Oh boy, here we go again with Ryan's life crisis. What is this, the eighth time? Eight, 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 eight. eight. You bet it is, buddy. You think I wouldn't do it eight times? Sitting on seven times, Bobo? <laughs> Not on my watch. We're doing eight. Also, welcome to I'm giving birth to you, Cam. Be free. Be free. <laughs> but no, I, I'm only bringing this up because I kind of want to tell you, I'm kind of planning on stop doing YouTube straight up and do Twitch for a little while. Uh, is that fair, though? Maybe it gets unblocked soon. Well, it's not that I'm waiting for it to unblock. They got it and they sent it back and said, uh, we're not unblocking it. They, uh, I, I got a message last night saying, um, they refused to unblock it. So, that's the problem. It's not the problem that I, I'm waiting for it, it's that they decided, no, we're not doing it. So, even if I do go to the second stage, which will give me a copyright strike, the ones that if you get three, your channel gets deleted, um, I will also, um, uh, have to wait 30 days. So even, like, best case scenario, I won't be able to get the next one out for 30 days, and then the next one for 30 days. So I'm really in a fucking screwed pickle. You could make public some of your older RVB Patreon vids. They will probably get some good views. I thought about it. Though if I'm going to do it, I, I probably wouldn't do the red versus blues. I would do the, uh, the rubies. So that when the new ruby comes out. I have thought about it. Like the really old ones, because at this point they they're getting they're getting up there. Speaking of which, the next red versus blue will be coming out soon. I got that up. So, anyways, yeah, I I, I don't I don't know. Did <laughs> you use the name to bum Ryan? <laughs> tempting, very tempting. So be a real streamer? Yeah. That was the plan. At least try it. I've never actually tried being a full-on streamer. Of course, literally, I remember when I did this, one of you said to me, uh, sure, let's do Twitch. Just promise you'll never go full streamer. <laughs> well, it's one year later, boys. <laughs> Whoops. Be the next dream? I mean, all I have to do is cheat at Minecraft and I could be the next. Dude, if you could promise me dream level status, if I could just cheat and wear a mask, I'd do it. But why, though, there's like eight other channels that did a full series? I don't know. They decided that my video was bad. I'm guessing, Derpy, what's going on here is that they have just started doing the copyright bans. It's weird. They didn't do three. Three is still waiting. Like, but for some reason, If you move four. everything to Twitch, will the Hunger Games move over here as well? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's for sure. Leave it to the Brits to always fuck everything up. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting a little too comfortable. Look how comfy I am. I am finally devolving into a diglet. 
<laughs> you know, I've been bummed all day, but I gotta say, there's something about streaming that just makes me happy. <laughs> I have been in such a bummed mood all day. Of course, it's raining, too. There's something about a rainy day that just kills your vibe, you know? But, uh... As soon as I start streaming, I, I start feeling better. Isn't that fucking weird? I don't know what it is about streaming that I really enjoy. It's kind of the other reason why I thought about doing it. Sally Dream was already famous before each hit. Ah, dang. <laughs> Ryan becomes VTuber, becomes a woo. I'm not going ooh woo. Could you imagine me going through? Hey, boys. You want to see me do some squats? <laughs> I can't even hide that because anybody who's seen my dang Europa knows I actually already have a curl voice. <laughs> I can't hide that I can't do an ooh woo. I mean, being a tuba streamer would give us traction, but it may be kids and then we get flooded by kids, and do we want that? No, is it really filled by kids? I thought it'd be filled by weeaboos. I don't think uh, VTubing. I don't think it's as popular as you guys think. I think if you're not a girl, you're not gonna get many extra viewers. Um, there's a lot of VTubers out there that just don't get talked about. I know it looks like there's so many VTubers and they all got traction, but there is a lot of VTubers that don't. They kind of are in the same range as me, really. Also, I don't want to be a VTuber. What's wrong with my face? I'm beautiful. Oh. Regretted that. You are ugly. Basically. Um, I know. Boys, we found Diglett's pre-evolution. Or um the other Diglett. No, I, I am the um I'm the pre version of that Diglett with the long or Doug Trio that has the long hair. There are popular guy VTubers, but they got their uh, they gotta have a specific niche. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever be there. So, uh, no, I, I like, I'm quite fine being on camera. How fucking stupid would I be if I spent $300 on a webcam and then the next day I'm a VTuber? <laughs> That's right, guys. I paid $300 for this 4K webcam. Next day, I'm just like, beep, bop, boop, beep, bop, boop. I'm saving that noise Ryan made. Don't do it. I don't know what it sounded like. I don't know. That's one of those jokes that gets cut out. <laughs> Brad's not ugly. He's just hairy. <laughs> Listen, boys, I'm still looking for those girls that like the hairy guys. And they aren't furries. <laughs> I don't want to dress up as a dog, right? I'm a cat guy. We already know this. <laughs> You're not ugly. You just smell. Sleepy, I told you not to put money into smell vision Everyone knew that was going to fail. Sleepy's like the person who bought the Wii U, which is me. So technically, I'm comparing her to me, which is truly the greatest of insults. So you're an Alohan Diglett. Yeah, that is, that is correct. Hello. That's going to be my next YouTuber name. Alohan Diglett. You can dress up as a cat man, Ryan. There I fixed your lady problem. <laughs> that would not. Uh, I mean, I don't think that would fix my problem. It certainly wouldn't help my single problem. So let me get this straight, Ryan. You're very, you're very single. Yes, yes, that's correct. Uh, and you dressed up as a uh, a cat girl. Yes, that, that is correct. 
Uh, how is the dating life going? Only gay guys. Just a sea of gay guys. Oh, well, that's fantastic news. You, you being the gay man, you are. Um, no, actually, I'm, I'm straight. This was a huge miscalculation on my part, to be honest with you. Um, I am. I'm, I'm, I made a mistake. <laughs> I already have that problem. I will be honest. I've got hit on gay guys more than you can imagine. Like, it's, it's gotten to a point that I've been hit on by so many guys that I'm like, God dang it! Get up! Get up! Nope. My dick won't get up. It would just make my life so much easier. <laughs> my dating problem would go up in smoke. But I'm not gay, so... That'll never happen. Also, I could be YouTube. YouTube would give me so much money. He's gay? Give him the money! But now I'm just straight white guy. Damn it. In an era where nobody likes straight white guys. Fiddlesticks. Improve, adapt, overcome. Suck a dick is what you're trying to say. That's the full thing. As a gay man, I can't confirm don't dress as a cat boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not uh, I'm not going femboy on you boys. Plus, I could never make it happen. You guys would know. It would break through. They'd be like, oh my god, look how woo he is. And I'd be like, hey boys. You know what a prolapse anus looks like? <laughs> no matter how hard, I could go full cat girl. Full cat, cat ears, cat look. Sooner or later, the homeless man will break through. No matter what you do, there is no disguise you can give me that I wouldn't after a while just be like, that's right, boys, I'm back. <laughs> you always want to see some cat girl. Mother, I'm scared. The cat man seems like a scary homeless man. I don't trust this Jeffrey Bezos site anymore. <laughs> you want to know what advice my my best friend's brother gave me? Charles, he said, Ryan, this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do to make yourself famous. And he's right. It would have worked. The true trials and sad stories of the straight white man. We are the true victims of modern day. Absolutely. We're, we're always got to do that victim card. I already have enough. Never mind. I'm not going. I'm not. Never mind. I always go on tangent about the word cis. Whoever came up with that. That's it. I'm putting it down. Whoever came up with that knew what they're doing, didn't they? They knew that if they called him a cis white male, that was going to annoy people. Be like, that sounds a lot like sissy, doesn't it? It's spelled different, but it's pronounced that way. That's, that's really, um, that sure is annoying. They knew what they were doing. They knew. They knew what they were doing. They knew. They were. They're silly. They solely did it just to annoy people. I have. A, I, that's my theory. That's my theory. They knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? I just realized something. Here's the best part. Here's the. Here's how you can counter it, though. Cis. Uh, wait. I think it means. Never mind. I don't actually know what that means. I think it's the opposite of trans. Thank you. That is indeed. So I was right. So, if a cis is somebody who is not trans and it's just a, like a non-trans person what if i don't like being identified as someone called a cis what if i don't like that word are you gonna say that i can't say that because of biology that's right boys i'm gonna flip the card on them so they can't call me a word i don't like because it's a bad word you come on come up with a better word it's a bad it's a bad anyways this is this is a canceling stream i'm gonna get myself canceled on this if i keep making jokes about this anyways i forgot what i was talking about want to play some pokemon <laughs> first day as a full streamer got canceled <laughs> It's a, it's a rough road, though, to be honest with you. It's very hard sometimes to talk about trans issues without, like, 
like walking on eggshells. It is a very like even if it's like a simple topic. And it's weird too. Because I have a lot of trans friends and none of them. None of them. They're always like they're very open. I've talked to them about a bunch of stuff. I really got to understand more about it. But for some reason the internet has this other vibe about them. Where they're just like, if you say anything wrong, you're going to fucking ruin everything. Everything's going to fall apart. It's not, it's not true. It's not true at all. They're, they're, they're making trans people to look like, like unhinged. Like they're, like they're giving the characteristic of that. And I feel it's really unfair and kind of insulting to all trans people. But anyway. Cis is Italian, uh, uh, which and means on the same side. Really? Oh, Latin, not Italian. God, I'm stupid. Once again, the Latins. Oh, I've got beef with the Latins. I got beef with the Latins. Those stupid old motherfuckers. I will never stop. You want that? Put that aside. I don't give a shit about that. That's not why I'm mad at the Italians. The Italians? Not Italian. Stop saying Italian. Stop blaming the Italians. Latins made the X. That's right. They're the fuckers that made all the Hunter X Hunter fans go, mm, excuse me, Ryan. It's actually Hunter Hunter. The Latins did that. Was it the Romans? <gasps> Was it the Romans that did the X? But I thought the Roman did Roman numerals, not the silent X, right? Because Roman X is 10, right? Is Hunter, 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 10, Hunter? Who did the Silent Acts, actually? Give me the information about this. Because, yeah, like like I said, Romans speak Latin. Oh, okay. So, are the Romans that... Wait. Yeah, that makes sense. You would think the Latinas are the ones who spoke Latin. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've ever said in my entire life. Anyways, I got beef with them. I got beef with them. I'm going back in time. I'm beating up some Romans. Those people who came up with those words, making silent letters that stay in my language to fuck me up in school, huh? They're getting the clobbering. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. American education, everybody. No, this is American failed education because someone has <laughs> sitting in special ed. Hobo Ryan really putting the education in. <laughs> Ryan. Listen, I fucking hate. Listen, there's two things I hate. The stupid silent X that exists because it's happened twice. Hunter X Hunter. It's Hunter X Hunter. Fuck you if you think it's Hunter Hunter. It's not. I'm, I'm, I respect the X more than you. And silent letters that absolutely ruined me as a child. Like, no. Being... K N O W. Why is it not two O's? Why is it not two O's? We did it for B. We put two E's with B. B E E. B. It's different than B E. But no, they just added a silent letter in there to fuck with you. Just, just to fuck with you. And then I found out these silent letters exist because of old language. My beef. My beef with you, boys. I'm going to find those old language builders. I'm going to fucking strangle them. That's going to be the next live stream. Ryan strangles someone from the past who came up with language. I'm going to do it. Some trans people are a tiny bit unhinged, but like 90% of them are nice and open. Absolutely. But to be honest, Otter, that literally defines every single human being race of all time. <laughs> like every every group of people, 10% are unhinged. So like every everybody, as long as it's humans, there's going to be a, like a 10% unhinged. But yeah, I totally agree. Most Almost everyone I've ever met is a sweet person and is totally a cool person. So, stop being English, then. That's a good idea. That's a brain, big brain, brain wave. Did you know, guys? 
my Spanish friend taught me this. I've I've been losing viewers this whole rant because I've I've lost my goddamn mind. Did you know in Spanish? Wait, no, not yes. She's from Spain, so therefore Spanish does not have a word for toes. That's right. It is not toes, but fingers of the feet. They call toes finger of the feet. It made me laugh for stupid reasons. I don't know why it made me laugh. It's an English thing. Blame the Germans, French, and the indigenous English. It was my people. I do hate silent letters as a dyslexic that spells everything how it sounds. They are yep. the worst thing ever invented. Mm -hmm. And why I use Google to fix my spelling. Right, and there's no reason for it. There's no reason for it. Like... Especially if you, like, there's a difference between the E that we explain. The E is to make this sound like an O instead of a different letter, right? Like, we know that. We figure that out. But then there's K's that if just come out of that word, consider the word jellyfish in Spanish, which is Malagua translating to bad water. <laughs> That's the greatest insult. That's the greatest insult to jellyfish. There's bad water. Gloves, hand shoes. <laughs> Fascinating. The internet only sees the unhinged people because they give the attention. God, I couldn't have said better, Kinky Water. That is 1,000% true. Good people don't want attention and just live their lives. And nobody talks about them. The crazy people, you, just like how the bad kid in school gets all the attention, nothing changes. It's the same as with the internet. Um, yesterday, my brother and I were making uh, fudge for Christmas. My mom came in and said the word lolly to us, and my brother had to explain to her what lolly is. God bless your family, Marley. Now, listen, in your mom's defense, a lolly in English could mean it's a abbreviation for lollipop. So, technically, especially if your mother is from the UK, lolly is still technically, uh, you know, in their language means lollipop. Not so much in Japanese. <laughs> Anyways, I can't spell. I can read fine, but it's less I know how to read and more I see words as uh, uh, some chunks uh, I understand. Continuous chunks? I think that's the word. Uh, yeah, I get it. I totally get that, Laverly. I have a hard time reading than spelling, uh, but it's a lot of memorization, and it's just like... Uh, uh. Hey, you know what I started reading? Also, hi, Pollyander. I didn't say hi to you. Hope you're doing good, Pollyander. Um, I started watching uh, Cyberpunk. That's a pretty good anime. I've watched... I'm up to episode 4 out of 10, so... But I've really enjoyed it. I just started, like, literally yesterday, so... Also, boys. One book. One more. One more, and I'm finishing Chainsaw Man. I only have one book left. Holy shit. Holy shit. I have never been so like, <gasps> I can't put down the book than with Chainsaw Man. I think I can say at this point Chainsaw Man, unless the ending's abysmal. I still got the last book, and if it's a bad ending, that's probably, it's going to deduct a lot of points. But I have never had a manga have me so, like, I need to read more. I can't, like, I just kept on going. I never read a book in one day. Never. Because I usually like to, you know, little bit here, like, read a chapter there. So you get more, like, time out of your book. So at least it feels that way. Um, and I only have two books left right now. Um, actually, three. I'm reading uh, Dead Man Wonderland right now. Um, but Chainsaw Man, I can't. Once I pick Chainsaw Man up, it's gone. It's gone. It had me hooked. I adore that anime. 
it's it's good. It got me hooked. I'm worried to watch the anime because I'm worried I won't like it as much as the manga. So I think Chainsaw Man might be my favorite manga of all time for that sole reason of I've never had. I've never been so hooked like I have to find out what's going to happen. Then more than Chainsaw Man. Oh no, Paul here. That's a rough one to explain. Cyberpunk's animation is gorgeous. Holy shit, right? Wow. Cyberpunk, it reminds me kind of a Fooly Cooly, if you remember that. FLCL. It's beautiful. Chainsaw Man Part 2, it's coming soon-ish, I think. Good news, I'm not sick anymore. Pretty sure I had the flu. Well, sleep, I'm really glad you got through it. You think flu or COVID? Which one? Would you have more of a cough? Chills? Who knows nowadays? Either way, glad you got through it. Glad you're feeling better. Uh, I am dodging those diseases because they are all over the fucking place. Who boy. It's bad out there, boys. Cold, flu, and COVID all going around. The cold is mad that you, we abandoned it. It's like an ex-girlfriend right now. COVID and the flu is ex-girlfriend territory because they're pissed that for like two years we ditched them. Like for two years, they're like, are you coming to visit me? Mm -mm, there's a crazy girl out there. Crazy girl called COVID. I ain't going out there. And like, okay. But you come visit me, right? Well, it's been two years and it's fucking pissed. It's pissed. And she's like, don't you ever leave me. So the cold is beating the snot out of all of us and the flu. Because if you remember, guys, when COVID came through, name one person that you knew that was like, I got the common cold. Nobody. Nobody. All that, like, uh, hand sanitizer and masks cock blocked the cold. In the community, I imagine the cold shit talks COVID. Like, this guy ruined everything. We had it all. We had it all. This guy comes in a neighborhood, ruined everything. Oh, okay, so you did test? All right, then, yeah, you probably had the flu. Like I said, flu right now. There's, I know a lot of people who have gotten the flu lately. Like I said, I think it's mad. I think it's mad. The Chainsaw Man author is insane. He based Makama from the girl who used to push him over when <laughs> he was writing his book. <laughs> God, that is hilarious. I agree. I agree. Fuck that bitch. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's hilarious, Otter. That is hilarious. Dude, that is fantastic. It's all just built up, pent up rage. Knock me off my bark. What a bitch, by the way. What a bitch. That's a pretty bitch move. You're like, I'm riding my bike. Oh, oh. Oh, why did you do this to me? The Danish word for what is hap, but there is also a word called vard. Vard is usually used in the middle of a sentence and pronounced as it is spelled. However, ved and vard are said the exact same way, but Ooh. the spelling makes the meaning different. And it made me so mad back in school, cheer 100. <laughs> I feel you, Bobo. There got me bad, too. Uh, English there, there is uh, three different ways to spell it. T-H-E-R-E, -E, which is where you are, you're there. And then there's T-H-E-I-R. Oh, God, I might be being blonde and fucking messing the I and E. I have a bad problem with switching I's and E's. Uh, which means there, there, like their stuff, right? Um, meaning you. And then there's there are, which is a combination, which is T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. They just kept on going. They just went fucking crazy. They just went crazy. They just kept on making more theirs. But anyways. Um, bro, I love Chainsaw Man Part 2. Man came out. Oh, it did come out. Did you already pass the cake part? Don't spoil if 
uh, so LMAO since uh, Anime Watchers. Yeah, so to explain, what was the last part? I'm going to say the hamburger part. I I got past the hamburger part. Uh, yeah. Or the door part. It's very hard to say this without spoiling anything. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'm almost close to the ending. I don't think I may have gotten to the cake part like you're saying. Because that doesn't ring a bell. But it doesn't mean it isn't. I feel oh! Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I know what you're talking about. Now I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I remember. I love the hamburger part. It's so fucking weird. Holy smokes, it's so weird, but it's so good. It's so out of nowhere. What? It's like, almost like fever dreamish. Hey, let's actually play some Pokemon today. I didn't actually grind up Meryl, by the way. Uh, but yeah, let's actually play a game today. Anyway, so yeah, guys, watch Chainsaw Man, if not for animation solely, because it's beauty. Beauty. Can I add some light to this, or will it get mad at me? Am I too white here? Mm, a little bit, but I don't think it looks too terrible. I, I'm I'm uh, pre-Star of David right now. All right, um... So anyways, yeah, guys, so to get back on to what I was saying, um, seeing I kind of have been considering January to be my first stream month, like try a new year, new new content. Um, one, if I do this, I want to make like really long project videos for my YouTube channel. If I'm going like if I'm going to ignore it, I might as well try to do some big ideas. Um. Uh, and uh, the other thing is, I gotta find out what to stream. Are we just gonna do two games and keep going back and forth to get through them, or we, should we do a third game? I don't know. But it certainly means we can get more games. Oh, shit, that's what I forgot. Sorry, guys, I totally forgot to do the uh, the pictures down below. So I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this because really, let's be honest, there's really only one star here. Yes. Sure. All right, I will be back, boys. There we go. Perfect. 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 I have fixed it. I have to take my dogs out real quick, boys, because she's trying to poop all over the house. So let me get a uh, let me get a video map real quick. Um. So out of curiosity, now um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Content. Da -da. I do it like day man. Here we go. Go over here. And back on to the Everhood saga because these videos are 50 minutes long. So, it's an easy watch. What do you want, Bet? Where's this? Okay, here we go. Be right back, boys. I'll be right back. I might be a little while, but uh, here is some content while I am gone.
total pip. Get out of here, chat. Why are you being such a fatty fat sim? But when we come back, we'll play some more Pokemon for a little bit. My secrets. Where's the dead body I'm going to find when I push against the wall? Where's this? Watch this, boys. Watch this. Dead body. Come on. Where's the dead body? Dead body's going to be over here. Dead body? Dead body. Dead body. Why was I in peace? Also, if you want to watch... Why was I in peace? Also, oh, hide and seek. Shit. Press the wrong button while doing so. Also, if you want to watch more of these content, check out my Patreon. I'm a shill. Ha <laughs> ha. Message. Did my girlfriend break my heart and I fell apart? Oh no, did I kill myself? Oh no. Oh no. No, it no I didn't. Because if I did, there'd be a warning message at the beginning. If there's anything I've learned from good old Doki Doki. <laughs> I only say that because I'm in pieces. And they said there's only one way out. Get back here, Gino Ganon. I bet you can't even play a tune. I still want to know how that frog cheated and got all those extra tunes from his guitar. He had a little thing like a walkie in his backpack. What a whore. <laughs> oh no, there's a fucking rave up here, boys. <laughs> Okie dokie, buddy. Oh man, you look shady as shit, my man. But my bad, he does very much look like he uh, had a <laughs> an anvil dropped on his head. And he is, doesn't trust anyone anymore after that. Hey, man. You must have smuckles to enter. 20 smuckles to go to the ATM. Okay, I'll go, get, I'll go to get some smuckles, my friend. Also, I'm crossing my arms because I got big fat titties. Whoa, what? I can't show it because then you'll get banned. Thanks, man. That's very nice of you. Welcome to the automated terror machine. What? Would you like to withdraw Smuckles? Uh, yes. In order to withdraw Smuckles, you must insert your... Well? Wait, 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 what's going on here? Wait a minute. You. Soul. I can't do it because Nick did that for us. Shit. <laughs> Wowie, is that you? Flower, are you in this ATM? <laughs> this wasn't made by the same people, right? Oh, damn. That boy be jamming. Hi. Hey, buddy. You're not going to fuck me, are you? Okay. All right. Just don't go that way. Got it. Okay, boss. Oh, he jiggling. Oh, he jiggling, boy. Oh, my God. That... that I would be very surprised if this was not based off Flowey. See my mouse jiggling? It's jiggling because I see you guys shitting on me. I'm back. Hello. It's me. Hibbidi-bibbidi-bo Ryan. Hibbidi-bibbidi-bo Ryan. Anyways, my dad took him out. <laughs> so, that's why I'm back way quicker than before. All right, time to play some Pokemon. <laughs> oh, my controller works. Anyways. Oh, shit, that was bad. Anyways, I very much, by the way, that game that I played through, I really recommend it. We return to Jug and the Team Roman, our boy who is to come to give it his all in physical battles, Bite of 87 the Brave Good Boy, Steven the Quirky Burb, Little Naughty Pablo, Fat Bob our calm and chill butts a fly cocoon, and finally Stromboli the new and naive guy. <laughs> I think Stromboli just... Stromboli I think is in the uh, Mafia because he just took a shot at Bobo. Naive guy? I hey, am a little naive, huh? You want me naive? He's working with Pablo. It's the Italians and the Mexicans working together. All right. Well, this is the team, boy. I, I got to say, Steven is uh, easily my second best. Pablo's a little behind, but he's a little criminal. Bite of 87. I feel like half of my team is like a, a crime organization. Stromboli, who's a big, fat Italian, 
who's pissed all the time. We got the Bite of 87 who's just like jittery and starts killing people. Pablo is a criminal. Pablo has literally been taking drugs over across the sea on top of his hat. Fat Bob kind of also sounds like a, like he'd be a part of Stromboli, like Stromboli and Fat Bob. All males. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> That's what we got. We got the boys. The boys. Uh, hey, if you need a streamer game, try Steve Jackson's Sorcery. Great RPG. I've never heard of that before. Um, excuse me, I need my can. Thanks. Thanks for the can, lady. The broad. <laughs> Whoa, Ryan, why so mean? What the fuck was that about? Sorry, that's the pent-up rage. I'll be playing Pokemon Black while listening. Hell yeah, dear bird. You doing Nuzlocke too, or are you, uh, just playing? And don't forget Roman is a crime boss. Oh my god! You're right! This whole gang is a crime organization. <laughs> I have just realized that Steven and Fat Bob. Steven could be the only one, but listen, Steven. I don't know now. Steven. I think we're I think we're running an entire crime organization, guys. I don't want to fight anyone, I just want to heal. Will I be okay if I don't heal? I mean Stromboli I mean Stromboli's never Steven's the only one really hurt. I think we'll be all right. I kind of want to see if I can skip as many people as possible. You're never gonna get me, bitch. Ah, oh, damn it! I gotta do double battle though. Uh, Pablo? My dog tried breaking my room again. Jug don't have a team. Jug has a gang. <laughs> what? Jug don't have a team. Jug has a gang. Oh, I see what you're saying. I was so confused. Carl said it in such a funny way, it kind of fuzzled me. Uh, let's just have Roman in there on the front. Take this team battle out. Steven steals food regularly. <laughs> By the way, Dark sent me a video of Steven the Seagull, and I now know. I know. I was, as soon as I saw that video, Dark, I knew exactly who it was. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's got his own team of dancing fools. Um, you can get a good poison sting on him. I think you can you can hit either one. You'll be fine. Um, hit him. This gentleman will be to oh, toast. Almost committed a crime. I almost murdered Fat Bob by accident. Stephen's so hungry. Come on, Fat Bob. Show them the might of the Bob. Don't. What is that? What'd you do that for, Bob? Talk about what happened there, buddy. You got flinched by a little guy with the duck bill. Don't get flinched again. Good job, buddy. Here we go. He's gonna kill him. <laughs> That's actually exactly what I expected would happen. All right, get out of here, Lotad. Fat Bob was just there for moral support. Good job, buddy. We did it. We beat the bitches. Is there any? No, we're a okay. We're a okay. Let's just get let's get some health, boys. <laughs> oh, don't slam that girl out of the way, Ryan. God dang. I mean, it's poison sting. Valid point. <laughs> I, just, I just read uh, lab release. Nice. I enjoy crime. So I don't know what I'm going to do. If we do uh, two streams, or a stream every, like, every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday would be five days. But would I, what, if I'm going to do it every other day, would it just be Sunday and do four days? I don't know what I'm going to do there. I kind of assumed that I was, oh, sh shit. I was not ready for that guy. Oh, well. Man, I'm pooped. Go get some sleep, Sleepy. You don't need to join us. You can go get some of the Z's. 
Go get some Aziz Asari. No one's gonna give a shit or know what you're talking about with that joke, Ryan. <laughs> it's a shit joke. Don't you wiggle at me. Oof. Try to poison him. I think we're probably gonna switch you out, Bob. Be honest with you. Uh, especially this guy is going to heal his Pokemon. Like, 100%. Um... To any artists that are gonna make out of the Emerald team, remember that they are all canonically mobsters. <laughs> that would be awesome. Like, just all in mob outfits while Roman looks like, oh, this is great. I like how we unintentionally made them all mobsters. Jeez, Zigzagoon. Damn, no one to be such a bitch. I knew you were going to full restore. I remember this boy. Rich kids always do it. Rich kids always about that money. I'm not risking you. Roman, just get out there. What if you do Saturday, Sunday, uh, Tuesday, and Thursday? I could. You think that'll be a good time, though? I don't know. I'm trying to think of what would be the best days and times for everybody. Whatever we do is going... We, we have to, like, set it in stone. Like, we can't go back on the days so that, you know, people know to show up, right? Uh, Pablo, how about you give a good Bopperino, brother? It's time for the Pablo show. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, I'll battle. Uh, we've already established that once you stare at somebody, you have to battle. I was told that by a, a ten-year-old. I'd go four days for more time break. Good, good thinking. Dear God, it's a Pobloff. A Pablo off. Who is the better Pablo? This battle is going to take forever, isn't it? It's time to go, boys. Damn, buddy. Good, successful suck, Pablo. Good suck. And Pablo's level nine. You want to learn a water move now? I don't think you learn a water move pretty till later. Yeah, that's what I got. Oh, you get the heck out of there, Bobby. You get out of there, Pablo. Uh, you don't have a flying move, do you? Fat Bob? Fat Bob, give it a shot. Get in there, Fat Bob. Let's see if you can do this, buddy. Get in there and take that shroomish to pound town. I love shroomish's little, little tilly-tally dance. His little feeties get me every time. Okay, he did two damage. Poison Sting doing good damage. Poison Sting is doing a good chunk of... Oh, but that crit pretty much ruined it, didn't it? He can only do two damage. And he's poisoned now. Fat Bob's got a chance. Fat Bob has a chance. Very big chance, actually. He doesn't have the speed. I think he's okay. He technically can only lose... As long as he does have... Four health. I think we're okay. The next, this should do it. We, I think we've won. Fat Bob's got it. Fat Bob 100% can do it. That crit ain't gonna mean diddly squats. Good job, Fat Bob. That a boy. That a boy. Get extra girth. Girth up, buddy. Get girthy. Two more levels, Fat Bob, and you'll be a beautiful fat. <laughs> beautiful fat. Suck it, lady. In Scarlet and Violet, every battle is consensual. Did they go out of their way to say that? <laughs> I don't think every battle you battle with a random Pokemon in the wild is consensual, though. I think that technically is very unconsensual when you go to a Pokemon and just say, Hey, I'm going to battle you now. And they go, Aah! Can you give me some loot, little old lady? Yes. Give me berries. Give me berries in me bucket. I forgot to change the title, didn't I? Yeah, I did. 
No, you have to talk to the trainers for them to battle you. Really? That's fascinating. Also, let me see if I can switch this up real quick. Hold on. I have to switch just chatting with Pokemon doesn't exist. Pokemon doesn't exist, huh? That 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 game franchise doesn't exist, huh? Oh wow. It's because it doesn't have the E with the dash above the E. It doesn't count. You fucking dickhead. There. Done. Switch to the Pokemon Emerald. Good night, Sleepy. Have a good sleep. I love this song so much. There's something so enjoyable about this this romp. I feel like I'm doing a good romp, boys. I don't know why that made me laugh. Just somebody in chat. Just kick you water on her. Call him out on his name. Alright guys, here's a question. Let's ask the important question. We all gotta ask it. What is your favorite Pokemon game? Uh, just so it doesn't... No. No, I'll ask that. I was gonna ask it as if just like the generation wise. But you know what? If you have a, a game outside of the originals that you enjoy more. I'm curious about it. What's your favorite? I think I know most of the chat's gonna say. Going Gen 4, so uh, Diamond and Pearl, huh? I did enjoy Diamond and Pearl. For me, it's gotta be gold and silver. Even though, like, replaying it, I see now people's uh, gripes with um, with gold and silver. Like, the second half of the game does not feel fleshed out, but it's still one of the coolest parts of all Pokemon games is going back to the first generation. Yeah, there's something very nostalgic to me, and it might be... I, I'll fully admit that I, I might be stuck in a nostalgia there for um, gold and silver. And uh, all the gripes about it, totally true. Like, it does feel like the first half of the game is half-cooked, and then the second half feels half-cooked, too. Seeing, like, in the second half, all the trainers are weaker than the Elite Four. Like, they're in the 30s for some reason, so they're, like, really easy to battle. But I still love it. I am a Gen 2 guy. Um, Platinum or Legends Arceus? two good ones. Uh, I love Pokemon Black and White. The other games I enjoy is the dungeon games. I've only played the Game Boy Advance one. Uh, Black is the only one I played, so that one. Uh, I like the fifth gen Black and White. Yeah, everybody really loves Black and White. I really only played Pokemon Y. Still a good one. Everybody. Everybody really loves black and white. That's that's the go-to for most people. Um, I'm indifferent towards black and white. Because that uh, it's a weird one for me. Because, like, black and white was a period when I stopped liking Pokemon. Like, I just burnt... I was burnt out. Oh, that's like... So, because of that, I kind of don't have that love for Pokemon, or Black and White. And I know people always get harp on me for this, because I can be a bit of a hypocrite for this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't care about the story for Black and White. Like, I don't know. Pokemon's one of those games that I, uh, I just, I just want to play. I just wanna, I just wanna catch Pokemon and get a team. That's it. That's all I really want. Oh, I'm starting to think Mr. Merrill might be an EXP whore. <laughs> oh, 
I was hoping to get him up a couple levels while we talk about this. Also, Pokemon Black and White story makes me feel weird. <sighs> like, I don't think Pokemon should have a story about, uh, like, PETA. Like, making PETA the villain and being like, PETA's like, hey, we think Pokemon shouldn't battle each other. That's not, we shouldn't cap them. That's not cool. I feel like that's something that's like, yeah, sure, it's interesting, but then it just like morally, it just makes me feel like every Pokemon game, like it's it's fiction. <laughs> I don't actually want to capture animals, and no Pokemon fan does, by the way. Have you noticed that no Pokemon fans actually gotten their dogs and cats to fight? Because they're not psychos. Only psychos do that. Can I train you in here, Meryl? Do you think you can do it, Meryl? Can you pull that off, Meryl? Meryl, you're bleeding, Meryl. Meryl, you're bleeding everywhere, Meryl. <sighs> Meryl. Meryl. Meryl Stromboli. Really letting the team down, buddy. I'm gonna have to remember to give him a potion or he's going to die. Anyways, that's that's why I never was a big fan of black and white. Also, having two rivals was annoying as shit. Not, I didn't like either of them. But, uh, you know. I mean, they're not... I don't have an antidote, damn it. Yeah, I can't use an antidote. doesn't exist. Wait! I may have wasted a potion, but that's okay. I did waste it. Uh, well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Hold on, no. That's right, boys. That's right, boys. 3 HP. 4 HP. Okay, we've got till 18. We're gonna start at 1 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight more steps. Fuck. I'm gonna have to waste a, a berry. Oh well. If the, uh, yeah, there's no way I would have gotten there. Don't worry, guys. I was I was doing it safely. I wasn't doing anything stupid. Isn't the story of black and white just PETA is bad? Yeah, kind of. But also, it's kind of like people who don't want you to battle Pokemon is bad. And it's just like... Ugh. Ugh, I don't know about that, champ. Oh, here we go. Hell yeah, here we go. Come on, Meryl. Come on, Meryl. Come on, Meryl. Come on, Meryl. Come on, buddy. Come on. Gang in. We did it. Oh. What is your favorite Pokemon? Him right down there. I am a, uh... I am a, uh... Torchic all the way. Well, technically, uh, Blaze Kid's my favorite. Can you do this, Meryl? I doubt it. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way, Meryl, you're doing this. Yeah, fucker, Roman, get in there. N was the only person who really believed in it. Uh, and his realization was that people shouldn't abuse Pokemon. It was people and Pokemon can coexist without harm. But it is a little weird, right, Lavely? Like, <laughs> you think about it, like, you could say that, but is it technically true? Because we are still technically having Pokemon battle each other for our entertainment. Good Lord, Meryl, could you get a stat, please? <laughs> Man, Meryl's not a great one, huh, boys? Meryl, can you pull this off? Meryl, can you pull this off, buddy? Can you do it? He's howling a lot. It's a little scary. 
but you are a big, thick boy. He couldn't kill Stromboli, right? He can't kill Stromboli with that. Nah, he ain't killing Stromboli, but a, uh, a crit can. Fuck it. Don't even risk it. Ah, Meryl sucks! Here we go. This is what I need. More of this, please. Okay, 16. Oh, I can buy potion antidotes, I mean. But there's no reason. I've got three more berries. Hooray! That a boy from Moody. Um, I get it, but keep in mind they kind of flitted through the kids game. Uh, and that's a big part of why it's sloppy. Yeah. I say let Meryl die and get a new teammate. We can just switch it out. We don't need to. Can we give boys some berries? Like holding? Yeah, hold items count. That's a okay. Give him the burn. All right, Stromboli's seven now. He gained one attack, still getting thick in the defense. His special attack's not going up either. Oh my god. Oh, Meryl, you are sucking. He's just a big, thick boy, but he's gonna crumble. He is 100% gonna crumble. Oh boy, what should we do about Stromboli, boys? I kind of agree with everybody that says we should flip out Stromboli. It's not working out, bud. It ain't working, brother. Don't yawn me, you fucker. Oh, well. If anyone can do it, it's Roman. Come on, Roman. Oh, he burned him, too. Good save, Roman. Got him. Hey, look at that. Even Roman's level 11 now. Of course, he's going to be useless against Jim, so who cares? Meryl doesn't deserve to be a part of the family. I was kind of hoping he'd get one water move so I could use something against the the rock gym, right? Here we go. He's only got three left. <sighs> Good job, Ryan. Oops, went a little too far. Stromboli is just that fat guy of the gang who is just kind of there. Yeah, he really is, isn't he? Oh, uh, Stromboli is also our third wider type, so... Yeah, wait, actually... Uh, this... There is no point to this one. This is a dead end. Is this lady giving me anything? No, without the, uh... Oh. Without the rod, this area is a no-go for a catch. But, do I need the gym to get to the third area? I might have wasted time with this one. If it's a skitty, I'm going to be devastated. I hate skitty. I hate skitty. What a pain in the ass to train. Oh, you think freaking Meryl's bad. All right, here we go, boys. Let's go over here a bit. Uh, by the way, we technically might have another hour to play Pokemon. Oh, we can catch another Pokemon here. And there is one thing Meryl is good at, and that's not fighting that guy. It's doing very little damage and getting the job done. Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? Oh, <gasps> shit, that's bad. That's bad. That means Wismer Cave is useless to us. Oh, that really kind of sucks. Right? Is there anything else in Wismer Cave? I think there is a, um... I think there's... What's it called? Ugh. 
Good lord. Oh, boy. Forgot about that. A woman. No, oh, never mind. We're not taking them. You know the rules, boys. Men only. <laughs> JK, JK. Who the fuck is going to do this? Nah, I don't trust you, buddy. Um, Sir Bully can still take one more hit. Get another smack in there. And he's level six, too, so it's a... <gasps> Wowzers, Wismer. What you doing trying to kill Stromboli over here? Listen, I want you. I don't want you to murder Stromboli. I do still want you, though. I don't think I don't... It's because I'm doing this doesn't mean I don't want you. Oh, no. I want... Okay, he calmed down. I'm pretty sure he can get another... Good lord, Wismer, you're a chunk. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything else. Uh, Roman, get out there. Get back, Bob, fat Bob. Roman, I need you to hold the ground. There's no way I'm going to be able to do any more damage. Uh, so we're just going to have to go for it. Um, I really want this because Wismers are fucking awesome Pokemon. Uh, Wismers are my jam. And would love to make them a part of the family. Yes! Let's go, boys! She's a part of the family. We got Wismer. One of my favorite Pokemon. A really great one. It cries equal a... Uh, the cr Its cries equal a jet plane in volume. It inhales through its ear canals? Because of this system, it can cry continually without having to catch a, its breath. I never knew that about it. All right. Welcome to the team, Wismer. What's this lady going to be named? Who's Wismer going to take? Sorry, Stromboli. You're going to the box, bud. This Wismer has replaced you in every way. You want to name her Sleepy? She does kind of remind me of Sleepy. Name it Gah. Any other ideas, boys? Jar. I think it may be sleepy. I'm gonna be honest. Making a ruckus. The rap queen. perfect for the rap queen you know what their full name is the rap queen sleepy but we're gonna call him rap queen now ryan don't actually put an e and ruin this <laughs> all right the rap queen Welcome, everybody, to the Rap Queen. <laughs> Name them. Ah! All right. Welcome, Rap Queen. You are officially a part of the team. The full name, as we all know, is the Rap Queen Sleepy. This is uh, Sleepy when she goes on to her uh, rap career. Peter Griffin? Okay. All right. Um. Move. Listen, buddy. Listen, buddy. Sorry, Stromboli. You're out of the family for now. You sit in the box, Stromboli, and learn how to get some attacks, okay? I'm gonna be honest, I feel like Sleepy is gonna be okay with this, uh, this comparison till it evolves, then she's gonna be totally against this. <laughs> Cause let's be honest, Rap Queen does not look too hot. 
The Rap Queen starts looking like a rap monster. Once he gets a third evolution. Alright, let's get him up a level or two here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's not... How much damage is that doing? Ah, oh, man. Starting off a little sad there. Oh, well. Pat Bob, get out there. Give him the business, Bob. Give him the business, Bob. Don't use uproar. Yeah, I know. That's the one problem with Sleepy is uh, her strongest move is a complete and utter risk. All right, so here's the thing. Oh, whoops. I don't think... Don't tell me never to use it, because now I'm going to use it. Um, Cutter's house. Cut, please. Cut, please. Batman, give me cut. Cut, please. Give me cut. Give me cut. Give me, give me, give me cut. Come on. Shut, shut your fat mouth and give me the thing. Thank you. Thank you, Chonk Man. You have appeased the Jub family. I will now not break your daughter's legs. Okay, good talk. No, I know. I know you can't. Uh, what's this now? Is this where I get Quick Claw? Old man, can you give me Quick Claw? Oh, jeepers. Oh, jeepers. Students who don't study get little taste of my Quick Claw. Shut up, old man. Shut your mouth. Give me the quick claw. That's, I, by the way, he said, students who don't uh, study don't get quick claw. I literally just showed up. And he's just like, here you go. But I would say that you're a bit of a hypocrite. I mean, of course, you did look at my Pokemon, right? But, you know. I don't know if that's quite correct, sir. Who has the lowest speed out of my group? Oh, yeah, by the way, they're gentle. Uh, no, I need stats here. Uh, 15, well, 8. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I guess that's not that much. 13, 19, 10, 8. So I think Fat Bob is right now, but I don't know. I think Bite is better. Bite needs to go fast. There you go, Bite. You can have Quick Claw. Man, I'm playing my Boat Waifu game, and there was a loading screen. Just was... Just full bathing suit butts on screen. Did you screenshot it? Oh, crap. I forgot because I was studying for my Net Plus. Santa needs me. Terry's too much snow and he lost his ring. No! So I got to hack the snow. Oh! Do it literally hack the snow, good lord! You got it. Minus defense plus special defense? That's not good. The Rap Queen is one uh, fighting move away from going home to her home planet. Um. Alright, I say we do this gym. So, really, guys, we have Pablo and Steven. That's it. That's our only choice in this battle. That is it. If Pablo and Steven fall to the gym leader, we're done. It's over. Game over. R.I.P. Um, the highest level is 15. 15? Really? You sure it's not 12? Where is the gym, by the way? Hello? Jim? There you are. Are you sure it's that high of a level? Is this guy going to be 13? Now I'm scared. You just scared the shit out of me. I thought we were going in like 10 and 12. Yes, 12 and 15. Holy shit. 
I guess because this route is the only thing I can think of. All right, well, let's start fighting some people. Man, Pokemon rule, check them out. All right, buddy, calm down. The man's face looks like a monstrosity. Joey. <gasps> not only Joey, but he's got a fight in Pokemon. And I do not have a fucking flying move. Rip. <laughs> oh, this guy. I need Steven to grow up then. I need Steven to level up. We're on the Steven train. If I get Steven up to 15. Oh, but Steven. Steven, my boy. Is a fine flying Pokemon. Which means one rock move is going to take him out of the sky. Well, we killed Joey again, guys. Steven slapped. Slapped Joey and said, be gone, bitch. Hello? Who are we to fight? Poochina? Uh, ming, um, bitch? Give me your experience, for Steven needs to grow. No, I'm 100% sure water's good against rock, bud. Unless I've been wrong this whole time and all rock Pokemon have been ground, which is a very big possibility. If not, we still got Pablo. Pabby. Don't you remember the episode that Pikachu beat uh, Onyx because he turned on the sprinklers? Pablo, you're at a huge mis disadvantage. <laughs> um, Fat Bob, get out there. Fat Bob. <sighs> hey, good job, Fat Bob. Oh, he just did it again. Can you shed skin twice, but Fat Bob? No, he can't. Oh, we can! Fat Bob, just keep shedding, buddy. We don't give a shit about this roomish. What does Fat Bob get when he evolves? Gust, right? I don't, yeah. A bug is weak against rock, and if he's flying, he's double weak against rock. He really wants to paralyze Fat Bob, but you can't paralyze a Bob. He just sheds that fat off, and he's just like, that's right. I'm still fat, but I got rid of a layer. That a boy, Bob. That a boy. You are the shroomish killer, Bob. You are the shroomish killer. Hey, Pablo's level 10. You want to learn something cool? You're not getting any defense or speed, but attack, special attack. That's nice. Anything? No? Okay. Hey, Fat Bob too. Very nice. Very nice. I like how Fat Bob got a bunch of fucking stats. <laughs> no one else does around these parts. Okay, Pablo's level 10. Uh, let's go back for a second. Ryan, press the right button. Ooh. When does the bite of 87 learn bite? Isn't bite at least normal to rock? Okay, so I was right about rock, okay. This is why Pokemon should remove sprinkler systems so something like that won't happen. <laughs> fat Bob is an awesome fat guy in the gang, unlike Shromboli. Shromboli's gonna make a re uh, return at some point. I don't think I'll ever actually do it, though. He's always gonna be... His, uh... What's it called? His typing is just terrible. Guys, have we noticed that we've never gotten a good typing? We've never got, like, a... Like, personality that has helped us in this. 87? That's when Bite of 80... I just realized what you did. 
I am so stupid for not getting there right away. <laughs> hey, it's Ninkata. I'm sad I didn't get Ninkata. Because it would have been really nice to get a Pokemon that can, uh, you know, get three, uh, two Pokemon for the price of one. Yeah, Steven, that a boy. Get a level 10. You want to learn a flying move now? Man, you really... Nobody wants to learn moves around these parts. We're done with that move shit. Oh, we could have got the Revenge of Talo. Worse than I feared. The elves are using cryptocurrency? Don't they know cryptocurrency never works and it's always a scam? At least most cryptocurrencies. I don't know if there actually is a good cryptocurrency. I think that's the problem of cryptocurrency is the fact that you never know what's a good cryptocurrency. Um... <gasps> no, not NFTs though. You know what I'm worried about? Not worried about. Do you think NFTs are gonna make a comeback and be like, uh, crypto. Because if you remember correctly, crypto was laughed at the whole time it existed, and then all of a sudden it exploded. I think that's what people are thinking. What happened with NFTs? I can't see that happening with NFTs, to be fully honest with you. Taylor's getting pumped, and you missed. Oh, 87, that, that killed your momentum completely. You could have won that. You could have won that, brother. Ain't happening today. Get out of here, 87. Ah, it's fine, Kinky Water Runner. We'll get through it. We'll get through that gym. I, I realize that I'm not going to find him right away. That's for sure. Um, who wants to go? Who wants to fight this guy? Bob? I don't like how half my team looks beat the shit up. I don't think the Rap Queen's gonna learn anything anytime soon to make her a valuable option against, uh, the gym. Bob, maybe? No, Bob would never. He will never. <laughs> Hello, child. Oh, God, there's two rock guys right here. Actually, I should... No, Ninkata, get out of here. Ninkata, get out of here. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you! Be gone! Okay, dark is natural. Neutral. Okay, cool. That's what I need to know. That means Body of 87 has some value in this battle here. Hello, fat man. If the tunnel doesn't go through, then I'll just go over the top. <laughs> sure, bud. If you believe you can. It'll be an on and off trend, but crypto makes more sense than NFTs. Currency is all about trust. NFTs are about ownership. While the trust of crypto is nebulous. The owner's idea of simply laughing and doesn't work uh, as currently used. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Um, crypto makes way more sense to me than, uh, than NFTs. NFTs always felt like a scam. Like through and through, like when you think of a scam, NFTs is like a perfect example of what you would, like if I was going to make one, that's what it would look like. I got you, bud. 87 gets at 10, so that's where I gotta get. Uh. Okay. Kata, get out of here. I don't wanna fight you. I just wanna go home. I just wanna go home, man. No. No. Like, I don't get it either, because everybody's negative towards NFTs. Who is buying them? 
Who are these people buying them? I don't know anybody. <laughs> Who are these people? Hello, Poochina. Oh, Poochina, you want to fight a Poochie here? If you fail this, that means you're weaker than a, uh, one that's two levels under you. Dumbasses, that's who. Yeah. You gotta buy into, uh, the... You gotta buy into hope, essentially. You gotta hope that you're gonna make a lot of money. And that's... You're, you're buying a dream, essentially. Got sand attack. Wow, we. What I got here? It's a repel. Come on, man. Fuck off. Get out of here. I don't want to fight you. I just want to fight this bug guy, right? Hello, bug man. Man, 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 man. It's me. Meow, 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 meow. Boo, boo, bee, bop, boo, skeet, bee, bee, bop, boo. Hello, Wurple. You. He will crush your head like the child of 87. Oh, you know what I gotta do for the bite of 87 picture? I gotta get, like, a picture of, uh, <laughs> of Poochina biting the little kid's head off from Five Nights at Freddy's. Like that shot where it's like, Kook. I need to get, um, a Poochina head to be around that picture. Perfect. Perfect. Good night, Alistair. Have a good night, buddy. Ryan and Co. is my criminal activity name of my gang around here. Damn, freaking Whirlpool. Damn, Whirlpool. Calm down, brother. Calm down. We're okay. Wow, that didn't do shit. Yeah, switch out. It's your time to shine, Steven. Guys, can't you wait for me to press the speed up button and forget while talking about something that he's poisoned and killed by of 87 and bring Stromboli back? The really expensive NFTs are used for money laundering. Really? I, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. But uh, regular ones are just people looking to make some money or get on the top of the trend. Also, companies monetizing things. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, boys. I didn't forget this time. Hello there. Uh... Orphie XD, hello. I'm just almost killing my friends. I hope you're doing good. This is our our uh, fine family of friends here. Uh, the leader, Roman Torchic, with his boy Fat Bob, Bite of 87, Rap Queen, Steven, and Pablo, who are all a elaborate criminal organization here to help the little man. Pablo is a fine example of helping people get their cocaine across water. <laughs> Guys, do we sound insane when I try to explain this to, like, somebody new? He's like, so, let me get this straight. In your, uh, Nuzlocke, your story is you're a criminal organization that smuggles drugs? Yeah. That's not weird, right? Right? That's what, that's what you do. Man, you know what? I was watching some uh, some YouTube videos. And there's like, uh, there's a certain type of YouTubing that like once you know of its existence. Good Lord, stop beating up Pablo. Once you know that type of YouTubing exists or a style, you can't unhear it. Ryan Vite is a me. special move in Gen 3 because by the way physical and special moves were classified. All dark type moves are special attacks. It's based on the attack took not what the attack is. It's not till Gen 4 attack teeps makes sense. 
fight is a special move? Oh, oh no, that's a problem. <laughs> like this whisper, by the way. It is beating my little ass out. Pablo! Come on, Pablo. Come on, Pablo. Learn something. Nah, he never learns anything. He never wants to do anything other than just float around on his little thing. Anyway, so I was saying about, like, YouTube styles. There's certain things that once you see, you can't unsee with, like, certain uh, streamers or YouTubers. Especially VTubers, I've seen this. Where the commentary is saying the absolute obvious thing that you've already seen. Like, have you ever, like, I realized this as I was watching old Markiplier, where he was just like... He would state, like... What's going on in this world? What's going on in this area? That's really suspicious and spooky. And I'm like, wait, why are you even saying this when like everybody already, it's, it's little nightmares. We, we know it's spooky, but it's like one of those things. Once you like know that like style of talking, you can never unhear it. You can never unhear it. There's a certain style. And the thing is, I'm almost certain I've done the same thing. So. I'm really no different, but once you start thinking in that YouTuber brain, you have ruined that content for yourself. Hello, Shroomish. Bye. Ugh! Choking to death. Don't mind me. Can you pull this off? Oh, there's no way you're pulling this off, buddy. There's no way. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Ain't happening, buddy. You've already failed. You got an F on your report card. We got to get the shroomish killer. Get the shroomish killer out. Get the Bob out. The big Bob. Also, what is... You've got... <sighs> Guys, we got to talk about Orphe XD's uh, emote. They've got a cat with sunglasses on. We need to upgrade our emote game. I need to do the cat day. We've got to do a cat week or cat day. Where it's all cat emotes. I'm jealous of that beautiful cat wearing sunglasses. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I now have Kringle Coin Wallet? God help me. <laughs> oh God. That's what you know you. If, if that's true, Lively, you got a problem. You've gone too, gone too far down the rabbit hole. Come on, Fat Bob. Just shed it off, buddy. Anyway, so that's why I've always found, like, it's so much more interesting when you, like, get into the game and play a character than, uh, like, just stating the obvious or saying things that everybody already knows because they're, you know, watching it. But anyways, maybe I'm the only one that knows these sort of things. It's almost like doing reaction YouTubing and noticing every single little touch is a bad idea. <laughs> what? What? Uh, Kinky Water Runner and Josh has it. Where? Where'd you get these? Guys, where'd you get this? I need to know what's going on here. I didn't know everybody had them. Did we get this from the 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 Choo Choo's? It's, they're under global. <gasps> Dear God, Twitch, you have shamed me by having better emotes. That's not true. The sleepy emotes are the best emotes. They, I fucking love them. I take it back. I'm back on the train, boys. We just got to get sleepy emotes with those same sunglasses. This means that Hyper Beam is a physical attack, so if we get a slaking, it will use Hyper Beam on its stupidly high attack stat. Oh, really? Ha! Huh. I didn't know that.
Also, I want to make some emotes off of the uh, the characters on the Nuzlocke too. I think that'd be a good touch. Good job, Bobby 87 You actually did it. You beat up the Pablo. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. As you can see here, Bite of 87 did not get Bite at 10. And you're probably wondering to the people who told me, wait, what, what? What do you mean it didn't? Yeah, I knew, I knew Bobo was gonna be confused. Uh, because, Bobo, you've read the level he gets it in probably fifth gen. Yeah, or the newer gen. They switch the moves around all over the place. Doesn't mean in third gen that uh, he learns it at 10, but they probably switched it up where they he does. Yep. Pokemon switches where moves go almost every generation. So you gotta look up when he learns Bite in Ruby and Sapphire. All right. Good job, Steven. You gonna level up, bud? Yes, yeah, Steven. Grow, my bird. I need you for the next gym. I need you to get thicker, brother. Hello, Taylor. You must die. I don't know why I'm going back. This feels like a good idea at the time. It's 5.30 already. God dang. Um, let's get one more trainer down, then we're going to call it. Uh, though I'm, I'm just going to sit and do some duck simulator and just chat. Get out of here, Poochie. Uh, and I'll do some grinding, too. Oh, no. Kill him. That's some good experience right there. Yeah, I'll do some grinding for sure. See, I gotta get to fucking 15. <laughs> um, all right, Pablo. Here's your time to shine, brother. Oh, oh we'll rock you hard. Holy shit, this fat guy's gonna fuck my little butthole. That's what he would have thought with his big muscular rock, but he didn't know Pablo was hiding in the fucking seas, ready to suck him off. Suck him off, Pablo! Call the police? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, here's the problem with that, Marley. We actually can't call the police because we're criminals. The police are looking for us. 13. Good God. All right. Well, I'll get him up to there then. He will certainly be helpful. I I would be a fool to take him out. I think Pablo is going to be the real ace in the hole here. I think Pablo is going to take him down the most. Uh, if I get Pablo at 16, I'll be extra in the money because that's the way he evolves, I think. I could be wrong and not be right. Boop, 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 boop. All right, this is where we'll stop. I'll do some grinding, boys. I will get everyone up to a certain level. Pablo will be 15, and Steven will be 15. I'll get these guys up a bit, too. And, yeah, we'll be ready to go for next time. Save state and save game. Yeah, I think 10 will probably be where I'm gonna go with her. All right. God, I look like shit. <laughs> I hate this camera. Uh, all right. Um. Um, well, that was fun. It was a fun. There they are, boys. Black Death, Mahogany, Red Guy, and Norman. 
on our quest to try to get the boys back after the great depletion of 1987. Mouse? Mouse? There you are. Santa dropped like 50 quests up my lap. Good God. Nobody wants Santa to be a wow <laughs> like update. Oh, whoopsies. Damn, Tab just shot me into outer space. I do like this map, but at the same time, like, I don't know if I like it more than the other one, especially seeing the second half is broken. Uh, you can't actually ride the thing back up unless you're the special uh, duck. Also, why is there a cube of ice sitting on that tree? What's going on there? I wish you had like a free roam button. With this game. I feel like it's the one thing that's like really missing. Can't believe Ender abandoned us. You can't say Ender abandoned us when I did it randomly. How would he know? He's probably doing work. Oh, we got a new one. What is that? Is that a camo duck? Red guy fell, by the way. Well, boys, we've got an army camo duck. There he is. It's very gross. Oh, it does not look good. Red guy, you all right down there, buddy? Like, they just kind of get stuck down here. And the other problem is we can't just change the map. Guess what, boys? If we change the map, I think we have to redo it all over again. We're not redoing it. This is our life now. We're in the ice area. Jeebus. Yeah. Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Big Boss Duck Hunt. Oh, shit. Those are two good one poop duck. Shit. Shit, Duck Dynasty or Duck Hunt? Oh, oh no. Those are both very good names. Uh, where are you, Camo Duck? Camo Duck is still the first commons. You gotta call it Duck Dynasty. That's a good one. That's a real good one. All right, welcome to the team, Duck Dynasty. No, do not fuck that name up. All right, there you go. Duck Dynasty. Good one, Josh. That's a good name for him. I'm going to pee. I want you to know while you pee, we might get the rarest duck of them all and you'll miss it. You better pee quick. Dirty Duck from Metal Gear 1. There's one called Dirty Duck. <laughs> Well, welcome to the team, new duck dynasty. Can we please have one of our new friends back? I do like getting new ducks and making new names, but I want to find all my old friends. Until I get sick of this map and uh, go to the old one. <laughs> but I bought this one, so I've got to use it. Someone's getting assaulted down there. The big pusher just crushed him in there. Red guy, you can actually go in there? Or are you just going to be trapped in there like the other ones? If you fall down there, you get banished. Red guy got banished. Mahogany and Duck Dynasty, Norman and Black Death, they're okay. Oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Who's going to come? Come on, old friend, old friend, old friend, old friend. We got it. This is a recovery project. Who is it? It's snowing. Cool. All right, I'll take it. All right, what we got? What's coming? What's coming? Stop. It's... What? Is... What? Are you... Spider duck? <gasps> Not really. 
I don't know what that's supposed to actually be, but it reminds me of uh, Black Spider-Man. <laughs> Dark, would you put my name in just a swear? <laughs> I'm truly curious what I wrote. I posted the wiki article for Dirty Duck. Hell yeah. Toby McQuacker? Yep. Yep, it's happening. It's happening. Once again, another common. Toby McQuacker wins. The only thing is it's gotta be McQuacker. McQuire. I guess it's not McQuire. It'd be McQuire. It's gotta be M I A. Not a C. Meh. Quacker. Toby McQuacker. Yeah, so it's to be an I. All right. Toby McQuacker. I think I spelled that right. Yes, there it is. Welcome to the team, Toby McQuacker. You are now one of the boys. The new duck. Also, I would check out the article, but if I... Uh, fuck it, I'm going to look it up. Hold on a second. Uh, it's going to pause the game, but I think we can get there. It was a link to Dirty Duck's wiki. Uh, where'd you put it, though, uh, Dark? Where did you post it? I don't know where it is. Just send it to me. Oh, no, Toby McQuacker. No. Quacker, no. Oh, no. We've got we've got a problem. He fell. Toby McQuacker has fallen. <gasps> no. No. Toby, no. He's getting sent to the Shadow Realm with Duck, the red guy. Dear God. Dear God. Another casualty. Another casualty sent down to the, the tunnel of shame that'll never budge. There is only three, four. Uh, boop. Oh, post in chat. Oh, that's what was blocked out. Okay. Yeah, links are totally blocked out. That's why I didn't show. So that scammers can't be scamming. How does the lift work? Don't know. I was told it only works with the three new ducks. That's why people gave it negative reviews. I imagine at some point they'll change it. So until then, they're just stuck there. All right. Let's see. Let's see who's coming. Give me a new duck so that they maybe save the other one. Yeah, say it on Discord, Dark. Do I send it on Discord? Thumbs up. I'll check it out in a second. Uh, who's coming? Who's coming? Who's coming? New, new or old? That's an old dish new? I feel like we've had this one before. I think this is our first old, but we never actually named it. What's a good name for him? I mean, the classic would be Flowey. What we name it? What we name in the flower duck? We could call it Flowey. I think we named this one. We no, we never named it. We had them, but we named never named them. I don't think. There he is. I mean, we still got a couple that we haven't. Like, look, we've got this one that we had that we didn't name. Uh, I'm pretty sure we didn't name them. We'll only know because we didn't name that guy, that guy. Or that guy. We'll only know if we have like a... Oh, well, remember Norman, so I, I would highly doubt it. I'm gonna go get chili dogs. Hell yeah. Andy? Because it looks like Andy's room. Oh, I didn't know there are other maps for this game. Yeah, they did a DLC that I bought for two bucks. Uh, 
Oh, I see. All right. I'm naming him Flowey. Welcome to the team, Flowey. Hey, catch a flight. Are they moving? No. Something happened. I don't know what did. Did someone die? What? Who catched a flight? What happened? Hello? All right, let's do some research on what the heck that was. No ticket needed. I'm not going anywhere. I just got another achievement. We're going up. Mahogany's... Oh, no. Mahogany's going down. <gasps> They're going! It's finally moving! What happens if they get pushed down there? It's happening. It's happening, boys. It's happening. Yes? Are they just going to get released? Are they going to dump them? Dump them. Dump them. Do it. Yeah! Okay, so I guess it's just time-based. It's just time-based. That's how it goes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Flowey went down. Flowey and Mahogany are down there, and there is nothing there. Oh, there is a giant duck frozen under there. <laughs> Oh, it's a woolly mammoth duck. I want... The hey, Norman. I see that you've gotten stuck down here at Flowey and Mahogany. All right, it's coming back down. Is it going to summon as soon as it happens? Oh, it went all the way down. These men might be in danger. Mahogany. He'd go down there. I gotta keep an eye on him, but also I gotta keep an eye on the next duck. My god. <coughs> I don't know what it is about these headphones, but like I start, like, I can't breathe because of the mucus flowing down. That's disgusting. I know. But it is, it's killing me over here. Maybe I can't stream forever because I'll just drown in my own demise. What is that? What are you, new duck? Hello? There we go. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I am beyond stupid. I thought it was weed. I thought the thing on his head was the weed logo. Or, like, weed. It's a strawberry, guys. It's a fucking strawberry. It's not weed. It's strawberry. I did. I saw that and I thought it was the weed thing. Oh, man. I'm dumb. It's a tomato? But it's got strawberry thing. Look. If it was the inside of a tomato. No, even then. It's a strawberry. That's a strawberry. Strawberries have those little things. And also have a little green on its head. Yeah, yeah. How's the boys down here doing? Oh, they're doing all right. The murdering machine's gone. It does actually exist. Of course, the thing never came back. What would he name Strawberry? Duckberry? No. Oh, oh. I do like the strawberry. I like the green eyes, though the green eyes are pretty scary. I have no idea what to name them. I'm trying to think of like Dare Daryl Strawberry. I hate the I hate that you I know who that is. Um It's one of the few actual famous people I've I've seen before. I haven't met didn't really 
I don't care about sports. I didn't go out of my way to talk to him, but. All right, one more duck, and I think we're going to call it today, boys. We'll save strawberry for uh, a marble game. Or if I come up with a really good one. No, oh, also, while we wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We have found Dirty Duck. He's just a big old guy. I thought it would be a duck joke. He throws multiple boomerangs. What a Chad. What an Australian Chad. Well, the sun's coming back up. We're getting a new duck right now. I wonder what type of uh, strawberry duck is. We'll look at at least what rarity is. Here we go. Ready, boys? Here we go. New or old? Who's coming in? Come on. Give us at least one of the old boys. We need the old boys. Though we technically have more new than old. <gasps> Dippy! Dippy! I can't yell because my dad has a student. But, oh, oh, shit. And a murder. Who? Who the... Who the fuck? Who? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. When did this happen? When did this guy show up? When did this guy show up? Excuse me? Excuse me? When did this guy show up? Was he there the whole time? Guys, am I blind? Did we get a new duck and I didn't notice it? Who is this? I don't know who this is. What? Where'd you come from? How did you get down here? But guys, we found Dippy again, though. Dippy's back. One of our old family members is back. Um. Oh, Strawberry Duck is not a, uh, it's a DLC one. It is one of the first DLC ducks. It is a common, though. And then... When did we get him? Apparently, we got one of the new DLC ones. The brand new DLC duck. We got an axe duck. When did we get that? I, I don't remember this at all, right? Oh, you can't even see it. It's under my face. See? Well, there we go, guys. We got we got new one of the new rare ones, but maybe we did get him from the lift. I don't know. That's weird. Weird, weird, weird. But save, save. Um, collection wise, I mean, we still are missing a lot, a surprising amount. After all of this, we're still missing a shitload, and we have to rebuild our army. But oh well. Did you get it for playing the game for a certain amount of time? That's the, I, I, You might be right. Because one, we didn't notice it. And two, like he was down below already. I don't know. That's very weird. Maybe we got it from the achievement though. Because we did get this, which is an 8. An 8%. Of course, this one looks like a common one. We have to get all the achievements. That's the only way. Aliens abducted. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excited. Hopefully it's no one that's big. All right. Anyways, we got some more ducks back, boys. We got some of the family back. We're going to continue to try our best to get our family back. And also, I got to find a way to save the save data so we can do a new one, but we can go to the old ones. Anyways, all right, boys. I'm going to go now. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate all you guys. Um, I don't know what the future is holding uh, for anything. YouTube, Twitch, I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, I am kind of at a loss right now, but either way, thank you for joining me. There might be a stream tomorrow. I'm not really sure. 
replace on the other one. But like I said, I have no idea. Uh, but I love you all. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you, everybody. Bye. Have a good Christmas and New Year's, Ryan. Thank you, Dark. You too, buddy. You too. I'll see you, everybody. Bye.